Hello, everybody. This is Tony T here from Tony'sPicks.com with our NBA Pick Show here for Wednesday, November 27th. We'll have picks from all 14 games. For more free pick videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you're looking for my best bets, my premium plays, click that link in the description. And I'll take you to my page here at Tony'sPicks.com. If you like this video, give us a like, a thumbs up. You really help our channel. Let's get this one started. Rockets and 76ers NBA pick here for Wednesday. Adams is out for Houston and B. George and Lowry out for Philadelphia with Martin questionable. Houston now 13 and 6, a 117 111 road overtime win at Minnesota. The Rockets shot 45%, 41% from three. It was Alperin Sengun, 22 points, got that triple double in the OT. Fred Van Fleet chipped in with 27 points, 11 assists. Houston held Minnesota to 43% shooting. 24% from three. Philadelphia now 3-13, and 13, a 125-99 home defeat to the Clippers. Sixers shot 40%, 23% from three. It was Jared McClain, 18 points, four assists. Tyrese Maxey had 17 points, four rebounds. Philadelphia allowed 58% shooting to the Clippers, 40% from three. <clears throat> Philadelphia at home, 29th in offensive efficiency, averaging 106.5 points per 100 possessions, a minus 8.5 net rating. Houston, third in row defensive efficiency, allowing 107 points per 100 possessions, a plus 4.5 net rating. This is a back-to-back -back with a long flight for Houston here after an overtime game in Minnesota. The Rockets are shooting only 43% overall, 31% from three on the road, so they rely a lot on defense and rebounding. It's tough to do this in, a, in this spot with the 76ers having rest advantage and no travel. You know, uh, to me, this is nothing more than a spot play. Sometimes the schedule maker puts an L on your ATS line. Sometimes they give you an L on your on your on your um, on your record. Uh, but uh, what, if nothing but a spot here to pick care of Philadelphia here at plus the five. <clears throat> All right, we got Trail Blazers and Pacers here. Uh, for Wednesday, it's Klingon, Thibel, and Williams out for Portland. Grant, doubtful with Murray, Henderson, Aiden, questionable. Nemhard, Nesmith, and Shepard out for Indiana. Furphy is questionable here. Portland, 7-11 this year. A 123-98 road defeat to Memphis. The Trailblazers shot just 33%. 17% for three. Denny Avija, 17 points off the bench, 8 rebounds. Jeremy Grant, 11 points, 2 boards. Portland allowed 49% shooting to the Grizzlies. 43% for three. Indiana now 8 and 10, a 114 110 home win in New Orleans. Pacers shot 47%, 36% from three. It was Tyrese Halliburton, 34 points, 13 assists. Miles Turner had 17 points and nine boards. Indiana allowed 52% shooting to the Pelicans, 27% from three. Portland on the road, 28th in offensive efficiency, averaging 102 points per 100 possessions, a minus 9.5 net rating. The Pacers at home averaged 116 points per 100 possessions, a plus three net rating. The Trailblazers in their past five games shooting 38%, 31% from three. They are defending in this period by allowing 44% shooting overall, 34% from three. The Trailblazers have gone under in seven of nine on the road. Indiana is holding teams to 32% shooting from beyond the arc. The pick here, Portland, Indiana, under 229. <clears throat> Bulls and Magic and be a pick for action on Wednesday. All right, Ball, Sonogo, and Williams are out for Chicago. Boncaro and Harris are out for Orlando. Chicago improved to 8-11 and 11 after their 127-108 row win at Washington. The Bulls shot 50%, 34% from three. It was Kobe White, 21 points, 8 rebounds. Nikola Vucevic, 19 points, 12 rebounds. Chicago held at Washington, 43% shooting, 27% from three. Orlando now 12 and 7 with their 95-84 row win at Charlotte. The Magic shot 39%, 26% for three. Franz Wagner had 21 points, seven assists. Maurice Wagner chipped in with 16 points, eight rebounds. Orlando allowed 41% shooting to the Hornets, 22% for three. That Chicago on the road is 17th in defensive efficiency as they allow 116 points per 100 possessions, the minus two net rating. Orlando is tops in defensive efficiency at home as they limit opponents to 98.8 points per 100 possessions, a plus 16.5 net rating. The Bulls allow 124 points per game on the road with 49% shooting overall. The Magic holding a post of 42% shooting overall at home. Match have covered 7 of 8 at home and have rest advantage here. They are 14-1 of the spread at home, one favor between 6.5 and, and 12. 
Pitt care Orlando minus ten and a half. Heat and the Hornets, NBA pick here for Wednesday. Right, we got Smith out for Miami with Love, questionable. Bridges, Jeffries, Mann, Richards, and Williams are out for Charlotte. Miami drops to 7-8 with a 106-103 home defeat to Milwaukee. The Heat shot 45%, 34% from three. It was Jimmy Butler, 23 points, 5 assists. Tyler Hero chipped in with 18 points, 5 assists. Miami allowed 47% shooting to the Bucks, 48% from three. Charlotte fell to 6-11. A 95-84 home to beat to Orlando. The Hornets shot 41%, 22% from three, and 26 turnovers. Lamalo Ball had 44 points, 9 rebounds. Brandon Miller had 20 points, 10 boards. Charlotte allowed 39% shooting to the Magic, 26% from three. Charlotte at home averages 111 points per 100 possessions, a minus 2 net rating. <clears throat> Miami on the road is allowing 115 points per 100 possessions with a minus 1 net rating. The Heat shoot uh, 45%. Overall on the road while surrendering 48%. Charlotte at home allows 33% shooting from three. The Hornets 8 and 6 to the spread at home as an underdog of six points or fewer. They do have rest advantage here. Play Charlotte plus four. All right, we got Clippers and Wizards NBA pick four. Wednesday, Leonard and Tucker are out for L.A. Powell, Brown, and Bomba are questionable. Bay, Poole, and Vucevic out for Washington. We got L.A. 11-8 with a 126-98 road defeat at Boston. The Clippers shot 43%, 27% from three. Ivica Zubac, 23 points, 10 rebounds. James Harden had 19 points, 9 assists. L.A. allowed 51% shooting to the Celtics, 43% from three. Washington 2-14, and 14, a 127-108 home defeat to Chicago. The Wizards shot 43%, 27% from three. It was Kyle Kuzma with 23.7 rebounds. Alex Sar, 20.7 boards. Washington allowed 50% shooting to the Bulls, 35% from three. L.A. on the road is shooting 46% overall and 17th in offensive efficiency as they average 111 points per 100 possessions, a minus one and a half net rating. The Wizards hold opponents to 35% from three. Wizards 28th in home defensive efficiency as they allow over 117 points per 100 possessions, a minus 12 net rating. But L.A. just 1-3 and three to the spread here when favored on the road by 10 or greater points. This is their third game in four days. Remember that Boston game was the back end of a back-to-back, -back, so you do, you do the math here. Three games, four days. 2-9 and nine the spread in this spot. Play Washington plus 10. All right, next up we have Hawks and Cavaliers for Wednesday. Zeller and Lundy are out for Atlanta. Young questionable. Bates, Levert, Struess, and Wade out for Cleveland. Atlanta 7-11 after their 129-119 home defeat to Dallas. The Hawks shot 48%, 29% from three. Jalen Johnson, 28 points, 11 rebounds. Trey Young, 18 points, 16 assists. Atlanta allowed 50% shooting to the Mavs, 46% from three. Cleveland now 17-1, a 122-108 home win to Toronto. The Cavs shot 49%, 39% from three. It was Donovan Mitchell, 26 points, four rebounds. Ty Jerome off the bench, 26 points, six assists. Cleveland now Toronto to 40% shooting, 31% from three. Cleveland at home is second in offensive efficiency by averaging 123 points per 100 possessions, a plus 14.5 net rating. They play at a fast pace at home. Atlanta on the road, 22nd in defensive Efficiency by allowing 117 points per 100 possessions, a minus seven net rating. They play at the third fastest pace on the road. The Hawks in their past five games, allowing 49% shooting, 41% from three. In this period, the Cavs put up 128 points per game, 53% shooting, 42% from three, but they are giving up 40% shooting from three in this five game span. The Hawks six and three to the over on the road. Cavs seven three to the over at home play Atlanta and Cleveland over 239. All right, we got Knicks and the Mavericks NBA pick here for Wednesday. All right, we've got uh, Achua and Robinson out in New York. Doncic and Exum out for Dallas. Thompson and Lively and Grimes questionable here. 
Uh, New York now 10 and 7, a 145, 118 Rowan in Denver. The Knicks shot 61%, 53% from three. OG Ananobi, 40 points, five rebounds. Carl Anthony Towns, 30 points, 15 boards. New York out Denver to 45% shooting, 33% from three. Dallas now 10 and 8, a 129, 119 Rowan in Atlanta. The Mavs shot 50%, 46% from three. It was Kyrie Irving, 32 points, seven rebounds. Jart, Jane Hardy had 23 points, three boards. Dallas allowed 48% shooting to the Hawks, 29% from three. New York is second in road offensive efficiency as they average 121 points per 100 possessions, a plus three net rating. Dallas is third in home defensive efficiency by allowing 103 points per 100 possessions, a plus 12 net rating. New York on the road is allowing 47% shooting overall, 40% from three. Dallas defends at home by holding teams to 45% shooting, 34% from three. The pick here, Dallas here, plus the four. All right, we got Raptors and Pelicans here for Wednesday. Brown, Grady Dick, Olenek, and Quickly are out for Toronto. Alvarado, Jones, and Zion out in New Orleans. Murphy, Ingram, and Hawkins questionable with Murray probable. Toronto now 4-14, a 102-100 a road defeat at Detroit. The Raptors shot 39%, 29% from three. Scotty Barnes, 31 points, 14 rebounds. R.J. Barrett, 17 points, three boards. Toronto allowed 45% shooting to the Pistons, 32% from three. New Orleans uh, drops the 4-14, a 114-110 road defeat at Indiana. The Pelicans, they shot 52%, 27% from three. Trey Murphy, 24 points, six rebounds. C.J. McCollum chipped in 23 points and four boards. New Orleans allowed 47% shooting to the Pacers, 36% from three. New Orleans on the road is 27th in home defensive efficiency by allowing 117 points per 100 possessions, a minus three net rating. Toronto on the road at 26 in defensive efficiency by allowing 119 points per 100 possessions, a minus eight net rating. The Raptors in their past five games shooting 48% overall. They are holding opponents in this period of 45% shooting, 36% from three. New Orleans at home allowing 49% shooting, 37% from beyond the arc. The pick here, Toronto, plus four and a half. Pistons and Grizzlies NBA pick for action on Wednesday. Clintman is out with Cunningham doubtful uh, for Detroit. Harris is questionable. Eadie, Gigi Jackson, Morant, and Williams out from Memphis. Detroit fell to 8-11 with their 102-100 home win to Toronto. The Pistons shot 45%, 32% from three. It was Jaden Ivey with 25 points, eight assists. Malik Beasley had 14 points, five assists. Detroit allowed 39% shooting to the Raptors, 29% from three. Memphis down 11 and 7 with a 123-98 home win to Portland. The Grizzlies shot 49%, 43% from three, but they did have 18 turnovers. John Morant, 22 points, 11 assists. Jaron Jackson, 21 points, 6 rebounds. Memphis out Portland to 33% shooting, 17% from three. Detroit on the road is fifth in defensive efficiency, allowing 108 points per 100 possessions, a plus one net rating. The Grizzlies at home sit sixth in offensive efficiency, averaging 115 points per 100 possessions, a plus nine net rating. Detroit's averaging 101 points per game without Cunningham the past two games. The Pistons on the road shooting 45% overall. In their past five games, they've allowed 40% shooting from three. Memphis uh, holds teams at home to 43% shooting overall and 32% from three. Pick here, Memphis, minus eight. We got uh, Kings and Timberwolves NBA pick for action on Wednesday. All right, we got uh, Carter, DeRozan, and Lyles out for Sacramento with Crowder Probable. Conley and Ingles are questionable. Sacramento drops to 8 and 10 after their 130 to 109 home defeat to Oklahoma City. The Kings shot 48%, 25% from three. It was DeMontis Sabonis, 21 points, 10 rebounds. DeMar DeRozan, 30 points, 6 assists. Sacramento allowed 56% shooting in the game, 45% from three. Minnesota now 8 and 9 after a 117 111 home overtime loss to Houston. T was shot 43%, 24% from three. Anthony Edwards, 29 points, 10 rebounds. Julius Randle had 21 points and six rebounds. Minnesota allowed 45% shooting to the Rockets, 41% from three. Minnesota is eighth in offense in defensive efficiency, allowing 107 points per 100 possessions, <clears throat> plus six and a half net rating. Sacramento is eighth in road defensive efficiency, allowing 
111 points per 100 possessions, a minus 0.4 net rating. The T-Wolves on a back-to-back, -back, losing in overtime, playing their third game in four nights. Rest advantage for the Kings. Sacramento on the road, shooting 48% and allows 45% overall. In their past five games, the T-Wolves allowing 49% shooting, 38% from three, while hitting just 45% overall. The Kings, 15-11 and of the spread as a road underdog. Minnesota, 5-15 and of the spread at, at, as a, at home when favored of six points or fewer. Play Sacramento plus the four and a half. Lakers and Spurs NBA pick for action on Wednesday. Wood, Vanderbilt, and Bronny are out for LA. Hayes probable. So Con and, and Vassal out for San Antonio. LA drops to 10 and 7 after their 127 100 road defeat at Phoenix. The Lakers shot 44%. 24% from three was Anthony Davis, 25 points, 15 rebounds. D'Angelo Russell off the bench, 16 points, 4 assists. LA allowed 52% shooting to the Suns, 40% from three. San Antonio now 10 and 8, a 128-115 row win at Utah. The Spurs shot 49%, 38% from three. Victor Wembanyama, 34 points, seven rebounds. Stephen Castle, 23 points, five assists. San Antonio allowed 51% shooting to the Jazz, 37% from three. LA is 29th in row defensive efficiency as they allow 120 points per 100 possessions, <clears throat> a minus eight net rating. San Antonio is 7th in home offensive efficiency, averaging 116 points per 100 possessions, a plus 6 net rating. The Lakers on the road shooting 45% overall, 33% from 3, while surrendering 49% overall. The Spurs at home shot 48% overall, while limiting foes to 44% overall, 33% from 3. LA 2-7 and seven to the spread as road favorite, 2-6 and six in road back-to-backs. Play San Antonio plus 2.5. <coughs> Nets and the Suns NBA pick here for Wednesday. <coughs> McDonavich, Clowney, Sharp, and Cam Thomas are out for Brooklyn. Claxton, Finney, Smith, and Cameron Johnson questionable. Gillespie out for Phoenix. Uh, Brooklyn 8 and 10 after a 128 120 row win at Golden State. Uh, they had injuries in that game too, did the Nets. Uh, the Nets shot 49%, 44% from three. Cameron Johnson, 23 points, three rebounds. Dennis Schroeder, 31 points, seven assists. Brooklyn allowed 48% shooting to the Warriors, 41% from three. Phoenix now 10-7, and seven, a 127-100 home win to the Lakers. The Suns connected on 52%, 40% from three. Devin Booker, 26 points, 10 assists. Kevin Durant chipped in 23 points, six rebounds. Phoenix held the Lakers to 44% shooting, 24% from three. Phoenix averaging 113 points per 100 possessions, a plus two net rating. This number is better with Durant in Brooklyn on the road, allowing 116 points per 100 possessions, a minus two net rating. The Nets are making 39% from three on the road, and they have rest advantage here. The Suns defense the past five games, allowing 49% shooting. Phoenix 3 8 to the spread at home, one favor between six and a half and 12 points. The pick here, Brooklyn plus the nine. <clears throat> <clears throat> Nuggets and Jazz NBA pick here for Wednesday. Gordon and Kankar are out for Denver with Watson probable. Clarkson Filipowski out for Utah with Markin and probable. Uh, Denver fell to 9 and 7 after a 145 118 home BB to the Knicks. The Nuggets shot 45%, 33% from three. It was Russell Westbrook off the bench, 27 points, three rebounds. Nicole Jokic had 22.7 assists. Denver allowed 61% shooting to the Knicks, 53% from three. Utah now 4 and 13 after a 128 115 home defeat to San Antonio. The Jazz shot 51%, 37% from three, and 21 turnovers. Yante George, 26.7 assists. John Collins chipped in 20 points, 13 boards. Utah allowed 48% shooting to the Spurs, 38% from three. Denver is seventh in row defensive efficiency as they allow 111 points per 100 possessions, a plus two and a half net rating. Now, since inserting John Collins in the starting lineup, the Jazz, they sit ninth in offensive efficiency, averaging 116 points per 100 possessions, a minus three and a half net rating. At home, Utah holding teams to 35% shooting from three. In their past five games, the Nuggets allowing 48% shooting. Denver, six and 14 of the spread on the road, one favorite uh, between three and a half and nine and a half points play here. Uh, one favorite at three and a half to nine and a half points. Play here will be Utah plus nine and a half. <clears throat> the 
Thunder and Warriors NBA pick for Wednesday. Caruso, Dang, Holmgren, and Williams are out for OKC. Post is out with Curry and Kuminga questionable. Uh, OKC now 13-4 and four after a 130-109 to 109 row win at Sacramento. The Thunder shot 56%, 45% from three. Jalen Williams, 28 points, 5 assists. SGA had 37 points, 11 assists. OKC allowed 48% shooting to the Kings, 25% from three. Golden State now 12-5, and five, a 128-120 home defeat to Brooklyn. The Warriors shot 48%, 41% from three. Steph Curry, 28 points, 7 assists. Andrew Wiggins had 18 points, 5 rebounds. GSW allowed 49% shooting to the Nets, 44% from three. Golden State is 7th in home defensive efficiency as they allow 107 points per 100 possessions, a plus 7 net rating. OKC on the road tops in defensive efficiency, allowing 101 points per 100 possessions, <clears throat> a plus 11.5 net rating. OKC away from home, shooting 46%, 34% from three. Warriors on their home court, 46% overall, 38% from beyond the arc. They limit opponents to 44% shooting at home, 31% from three. Thunder, 6-11 and 11 to the spread on the road, <clears throat> facing teams that average 116 points per game or greater. Play here, Golden State at plus the 2.5. For more free pick videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel and if you're looking for my best bets, my premium plays, click that link in the description. That'll take you to my page here at TonySpeaks.com. And if you like this video, give us a like, a thumbs up. You really help our channel. I'm Tony T. We'll talk to you later.